Hi, in this video, we will use the Pythagorean theorem to find the length of missing sides of right triangles. The Pythagorean theorem is something that the Greek guy Pythagoras came up with several thousand years ago, but it's still used today. The Pythagorean theorem only works when you have right triangles. In our picture, this little box in the corner of the triangle tells us that we have a right triangle. In other words, a right triangle has a 90 degree angle in it. The Pythagorean theorem says that for any right triangle, a squared plus b squared equals c squared. A and B are the legs of the triangle. So another way that we could write this Pythagorean theorem is leg squared plus the other leg squared equals the hypotenuse squared. What do leg and hypotenuse mean? Well, the two sides of the triangle that form the right angle are called the legs of the triangle. It doesn't matter which one you call the leg and which one you call the other leg. Or similarly, it does not matter which leg you call A, which leg you call B, it'll end up working exactly the same way. What matters is the two legs are which are the two sides which make the right angle. The side of the triangle that is opposite of the right angle is called the hypotenuse of the right triangle. Hypotenuse is letter C in their formula, and it's always going to be C squared by itself on one side of the equation. So for this first example, Let's use the Pythagorean theorem. We have leg squared. Well, let's just call this first leg A that we don't know. So we have A squared plus what is your other leg? The other leg is six. So we have A squared plus six squared equals the hypotenuse squared. The hypotenuse is 12. So our equation is A squared plus six squared equals 12 squared. Now, let's compute 6 squared equals 36, and 12 squared equals 12 times 12, which is 144. Our goal is to find A, get A by itself. To do that, we are going to start by subtracting 36 from both sides of the equation, which will leave us with A squared equals 108. And now, to get A by itself, we are going to take a square root of both sides of the equation. We do not need to put a plus and minus square root this time because we are finding a side of a triangle and the side of a triangle cannot be negative. Anyway, the square root and the square will cancel, leaving us with a equals square root of 108. However, we want to write our answer as a simplified radical. A simplified radical is not what we have. We need to simplify the square root of 108. To do that, let's make a factor trait. Two numbers which multiply to 108 are 2 times 54. Two numbers which multiply to 54 are 2 times 27. Two numbers which multiply to 27 are 3 times 9. And two numbers which multiply to three or to nine are three times three. A square root means you are looking for numbers squared or pairs of numbers in your factor tree. We have a pair of twos and a pair of threes. Each of those numbers goes outside the radical as a single number. So our, we are left with two times three times the square root of the number that did not get grouped up, which is a three. Altogether, that means that a equals six square root of three, 
And our label will be centimeters because we are trying to find a side of a triangle. For this question, because it asked for an integer exact decimal or simplified radical, we have to leave our answer as a simplified radical because if you got a decimal from this, it would not be exact. It'd be a decimal that goes on forever. You don't want to spend the rest of your life writing a decimal for one math problem. If the question wanted decimal, you would just type six square root of three into your calculator to get a decimal and round it to however the problem asked. So this first problem that we did asked you to find a leg. We were missing a leg. This next problem is going to ask us to find a different side of the triangle. Now, notice the six and the 12 are the same, but now it's the hypotenuse that we don't know. If we use the letters A and B to represent the legs of the triangle and C to represent the hypotenuse of the triangle, then A squared plus B squared equals C squared, is what the Pythagorean theorem says. Plugging in our numbers, we have six squared plus 12 squared equals C squared. Quick comment, if you called your A and your B different, so if you called the side A, called this side B and this side A, that is perfectly fine. You'll end up with exactly the same answer. What matters is that your hypotenuse is the letter C. Continuing, we have six squared plus 12 squared equals C squared. Six squared equals 36, plus 12 squared equals 144 equals c squared. 36 plus 144 equals 180, if my mental math tells me correctly. Now we have 180 equals c squared. To get c by itself, we are going to take a square root of both sides. The square root and the square will cancel, which means we have c equals square root of 180. But since we want a simplified radical, we need to simplify the square root of 180 by making a factor tree. 180 is equal to 18 times 10. 18 is equal to two times nine. Nine is equal to three times three. 10 is equal to two times five. We are going to look for pairs of two or groups of two because it is a square root and we have a group of two twos. We also have a group of two threes. Each group is going to go outside of the square root as a single object and inside the square root we are left with the single number that did not get grouped up at the end of the branches which is a five. Putting it together two times three is six so our hypotenuse of the triangle is six square root of five centimeters. Don't forget to label. That's all I have for this video. Thanks for watching and have a good day.